Piso mo, palaguin mo. We're back at sa pagpapatuloy ng ating talakayan, we still have Miss Patricia Paterno. Um, balik tayo dun sa what you intend to do now with Joshua. He's 19. Mm -hmm. uh, he has been uh, using his secretary for the longest time, <laughs> uh, asking mom to ask the secret, <laughs> ask your staff to deposit uh, okay. accounts sa kanya. What are your uh, future plans do tumatanda na adult na yung lakyo? Yeah. Yeah. Um, any Well, he, eventually, he'll get an ATM card. So he can ah, just, ngayon, wala pa siyang wala ATM. Pa siyang ATM okay. Because when I opened that account, I don't think it was with an ATM. It so, pwede yung withdrawal niya kay mami pa rin? Walang withdrawal, di ba? Ah, walang withdrawal. Never, except ah, for the... Okay, 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 okay. Except for the... When, when you it was, Yes, ah. in mutual funds. So, never, never siya nag-withdraw. So, yung pinanggagastos niya because... Uh, Sinave up niya doon sa bahay lang. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why nga he has these different compartments. Ah, so if okay. now he's saving up for, yun nga, World Youth Day, then he'll have to, you know, because the bank account is just for saving. No withdrawal. <laughs> okay. How about deposits? Hand it over to mommy. Yeah. Oh, Mga pa-deposit. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, anything that you taught him, guided him, or ano yung sa kanya? What's his uh, decision point when to hand it over? Uh, it... Well, when he's able to earn enough, because actually he's been able to save his his allowance from school. So we give him allowance. What he does is he brings baon so that he doesn't. So actually he's been able to, you know, young kids they like brand name clothes, you know. And uh, although I, I I want to wean him from that, but my niece said no, Auntie Patsy, that's okay. Like me before, I was fond of uh, brand name clothes, but now I'm not. So she says that eventually you outgrow that. So I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't talked to him about that yet. But uh, eventually, uh, I, I should hope that he will be more um, knowledgeable about, you know, not spending on these things that, uh, you know, you can save more money if you don't spend so much on clothes. Um, further the further on the topic of uh, earning, mm -hmm. has he been sharing with you, asking, inquiring? Uh, about his future, ano ba ang magandang uh, pasukin niya, uh, considering his course in UP. Uh, um, ano yung napag-uusapan niyo as far as uh, in the future na pwede niyong career? Is, will he oh, continue, so, to, will so he continue many, to pitch in sa, sa business? There's so many options. And we in the family, we don't believe that we should, you know, um, we, we encourage them thinking about the business, but uh, like with me and all my sisters, my brother, my parents never forced us to to enter the business. But um, like my son, he is already helping. Like it's vacation time, so he comes to the office twice a week, and he designs there. Um, so I'm assuming that you know he'll be able to earn well, much more than. Usual. Just packing those. Uh, yeah, well, hindi na he's past that. He'll never go back to that <laughs> because now he's uh, already designing and he earns per design. So um, I, I assume that this summer, because UP will go back to school August. August right. Yeah, so he has a lot of time okay. to earn and to save. Okay. So eventually, we'll also have that uh, like a seminar about mutual funds and you know what. Go attend one of the seminars on Colaico Foundation. Mm -hmm. We do seminars. Like our theme for the, for for this season is money for kids. We Aye. also do we also do uh, for college students uh, sa Colaico Foundation. Check our website www.colaicofoundation.com. Okay. Ms. Patricia Paterno, your last message to uh, the parents: the their child might be seated beside them uh, uh, <laughs> Tuesday or Saturday night, uh, Saturday morning. Uh, your message to, to well, the parents. Well, I always encourage parents to teach children about kids. It's never too early. And uh, like with us, um, we not only save, we also give tithes because I believe that when God is a partner in whatever you do, you know, He's going to um, do His best for you and you'll be able to uh, have a great and wonderful future. Okay, thank you <laughs> uh, for that last message. Ako naman, tip ko, my, my usual tips. Um, the first financial institution that your child uh, will appreciate is the banking uh, institution. Get them a bank account at the soonest possible time. Banks now have uh, extended or uh, yung leeway nila for uh, opening bank accounts. At age 7, you can open a bank account for your child. My strong suggestion, bring your child to the bank. Let the, ba let the 
uh, child experience, yung bank personnel greeting them. Sir, ma'am, imagine at seven years old what that child would feel. Okay? Uh, an individual, an adult, not a relative, calling them sir, ma'am, and recognizing them. And then, let them hold the passbook. Huwag niyo munang bigyan ng ATM. Katulad kay uh, Ms. Patricia Paterno, hindi niyo muna binigyan ng ATM. Let them hold the real passbook. In fact, let them visit the money museum uh, sa Banko Central at makikita nila yung mga unang passbook ng mga unang araw. And they will get to see, ah, ako, meron ako sariling passbook. Let them appreciate that money is not for the stores or the malls or the computer shops alone. Money can be placed in another institution called the bank. Um, as they grow old, as they progress, as Ms. Patricia Paterno did, from a savings account to an investment account. And from there, the appreciation and uh, the inflow of information will turn into something knowledgeable and eventually, they'll be wiser with regards to money. Thank you very much, Thank Ms. You. Patricia Thank Paterno. Thank you. I enjoyed uh, talking to you. Yes, and uh, next time around, it will be Joshua. Ha? <laughs> interview naman namin. Okay, so quick break lang po, magbabalik agad kami, makalipas ang ilang paalala. Walang iwanan mga kapiso, keep it here on Disabilities. Piso mo, palaguin mo. Piso mo, palaguin mo. Siguradong marami kayong natutunan sa topic natin for today. Para higit na tumatak ang mga ito, let's do a quick recap. Ano nga ba yung importante, yung importansya ng banko sa ating anak? What is a bank to a small child? Well, to begin with, ang institusyon ng banko, may papel yan sa ating uh, society. Both in our society as uh, social animals, sabi nga nila, or as an institution in our financial system. Pag ikaw ay nakabukas ng account sa banko, you are recognized as a willing and active participant sa ekonomiya. In fact, kung alam niyo naman, meron tayong tinatawag na know your customer, yung AMLA law, na lahat, di ka makakabukas basta-basta ng bank account kung hindi ka ma-verify na isa kang legitimate na citizen, legitimate na tao, in your environment, in your society, in our economy. So, pag ikaw nakapagbukas ng account, yan ay may basbas ng institusyon ng banko at ng sosyedad at ng gobyerno na ikaw ay isang lehitimong citizen or isang lehitimong economic participant in the Philippine economy. So, yan significant yan. Kaya importante, pag habang tumatanda ang bata, natapos na gagraduate na siya sa piggy bank, nag-graduate siya sa pagtago ng pera niya, pag-ipon ng pera niya sa kanyang mga jars, eh dapat introduce na natin sa kanya, it's time to be introduce you to the financial society. Ang ibig sabihin nun, banko, magbubukas ka ng account. Ibig sabihin niyan, there's a sense of pride sa bata na meron siyang bank account. Meaning, recognition ng isang banko, siya is a willing and active economic participant, economic player sa ating ekonomiya. Pangalawa, habang nandiyan ka, nagsisave ka sa banko, protektado ang iyong pera. Kesa ilagay mo sa bahay, pwede manakaw, pwede mawala, pwede masunog. Pag nasa banko, kay manakaw siya, masunog siya, mawala siya, sagot ng banko, up to 500,000. So, safe na safe ang pera mo. At in addition, kahit na maliit man, ay lumalago siya. So, hanggang bata, na develop yung mental awareness ng ating mga anak na habang bata siya, yung pera ko pala lumalago. As he grows older, natututunan niya ngayon yung significance ng pagpalago ng pera. At kung matuto na siya kung saan siya pwedeng mas malagong, mas maganda, mas aware na siya at may willingness na siya at kakayahan na siya humawak ng sarili niyang pera. That is the most important thing when we start to open a bank account for our children. Napaka-importante din naman na ang dami rin banko na iniingganyo ang mga bata kung ano-anong incentive, may mga giveaway, may mga kung ano-anong promotion sila. Let's encourage our children to know about banking, to know the neighborhood bank, and to know how the bank is your biggest protector ng iyong savings. Lalo na kung nag-uumpisa ka pa lang, wala ka naman lalagyan. Ito pwede sa ilalim lang ng unan. 
Bigyan mo sarili mong oportunidad na ma-introduce mo yung anak mo to open his own bank account. It will give him a sense of pride. At magkakaroon pa siya ng idea. Oh, meron akong sarili kong account na sarili kong pera na recognize ng isang banko. Yan ho ang napaka-importante na maumpisahan sana natin yung ating mga kuro-kuro na pinapraktisin ng anak natin pag siya ay nakapagbukas na ng sarili niyang account. Next week, mula sa pag-iipon, dadako naman tayo sa mundo ng pagpapalago ng ating mga inipon. Posible ba mag-invest habang bata pa? Ano ang dapat tandaan kapag magsisimulang mag-invest ang mga bata? At paano mo makukumbinsi ang iyong mga anak na pumasok sa pagpapalago ng kanilang mga naipon? Habang maaga pa, a wonderful and exciting episode awaits us next week. O paano? Hanggang sa muli, mga kaibigan. Join us again next week for another edition of Peaceabilities, ang inyong gabay sa buhay pinansyal. Ito pa rin ang inyong lingkod, Francisco Colaico. Laging nagpapaalala, ang pisong pinaghirapan mo, palaguin mo. Walang mangyayari kung manonood ka lang. Tawag ka o text mo kami o i-click mo ito.